up, Guardians? It's Croyd again, and we are back with Coos Reviews number 9, or number 10. We got Big Daddy Baddy, or Big Baddy Daddy, one of those. I uh, see him in my Twitch chat a lot. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, he sent me some gameplay, and this will be the first one of the cr cruise, newer Coos Reviews of the competitive survival game mode versus, you know, the older 4v4 when there's sur countdown and all that stuff. So, gameplay started a little late, and but we'll go ahead and get started on this. It still worked out. Now, this is probably my second time recording this because, one second, because camera issues and stuff like that, but it looks like Big Daddy Batty is on a controller. Nothing wrong with that. We're just going to point out he's on a controller. So, we're going to go ahead and watch, you know, I like the whole format of watching the first rounds play out and then going back and looking at see what could be done. And these survival rounds are quite a bit longer than um, the normal trials or survival elim game modes. Because, you know, what is it? Seven lives versus three. 30 seconds. Both teams out of reserves. End this. You're the last guardian standing. Fight. You're knocked out. Your enemy won the round. All right, that was a minute and a half. Let's see if I can watch this. <clears throat> All right, so we get a nice kill in the beginning. It sucks you shot your teammate right there, but this is a nice grenade. A lot of times these uh, frag grenades, incendiary, you know, spreads or stuff like that, they don't do a whole lot of damage. Two. I'll pay attention to that. So going around this corner right here, you can, actually you can hear him with the shotgun, I think. You gotta be careful pushing these tight corners with your primary out. Your best bet is, you don't have a shotgun, so you can't push with a shotgun, but you have a sniper. Your best bet, most likely someone's gonna have a shotgun around that corner. Your best bet is to push with your sniper out. Maybe you can get a body shot with your revoker and then melee, or maybe you get a lucky no-scope headshot, but just to increase your chances, push with your special around the corners like this. And like I said, I think you could hear him actually like racking the shotgun a little bit, so. One minute. Your neck. No lives left for when you're dead. <clears throat> right here when you're jumping up, this is not a big deal, but if you can get used to kind of head level, learning head level stuff, maybe there's there's stuff usually in the game you can kind of memorize, I feel like. Um this Top of the sign you could have line you can line up. There's like lines on other maps you can line up about head level. Not your fault. Um, just a quick tip. Now up here, when you're this guy's fighting right here, your teammate's sitting here uh, fighting this guy. He's distracted on him. You're kind of casually strafing out to try and get an angle on him, which normally is fine but it's just it's wasting too much time if you could have slid and looked left a little more maybe you would have been able to help and get a shot off on this guy 30 seconds. Both teams out of reserve. now you do good though End rolling it. and getting away and creating some You're distance um, looks like you got a 10 rico that's a lot of rico i have right. like one negative one rico <clears throat> now right here you strafe out it's it's tough you know you don't know this guy has a bow if you could have strafed out just a hair bit slower, maybe you could have line inside of the hunter and just kind of singled out the titan. But again, it's tough. You know, you can't exactly. You're it's tough to strafe out that slow. Most of the time, you'll probably over strafe round. anyway. But the good try. The enemy leads. Catch up and crush them. <clears throat> so we'll watch how this plays out. While this is playing out, I'll watch it and talk. Um, I see a lot of people talk about Trials coming out in this meta. Currently, um, they're complaining they don't want Trials right now because of this meta, like your Lord of Wolves and, you know, Mountaintop and cheesy combinations like that. But, 
an elim, not an elim, yeah, an elim game type, not survival. It is quite a bit easier to counter any meta. You start over fresh every round. You should be able to counter and learn and adapt, you know, on the fly right there. But I guarantee you, majority of trials is going to be snipers. It's going to either be Beloved, Revoker, or Twilight Oath. And those are the best snipers right now. I wouldn't be surprised if you see teams with three Revokers. So I see that he had John Dragon Shout and he switched to... I forget what those boots are called. Gemini. Jester. Gemini Jester or something. I, I was, if I would have known you had on Dragon Shadow earlier, I would have suggested rolling. When you have Dragon Shadow on, you want to roll a lot. You want to take advantage of the Wraith Metal perk it gives you, where you get increased slide, uh, increased weapon ADS, and cooldown speed, and <laughs> pull up speed, you know, stuff like that. Basically, you just want to roll as often as you can. No lives left for anyone. Gemini Jester is not bad. When you're dead. I also saw that he has 100 recov, so that's why he's recovering so fast. Like, that looks nice. I have one recov on my hunter. You have one last shot at survival. You're knocked out. And if you didn't know, you can stack our, uh, like, sniper scav and special scav to get more ammo per brick. Alright, so this this round, you looked a bit indecisive in the beginning. When you were... I'll show you what I'm talking about. So when we first spawn, you're pushing forward, you turn back around, and then you push back forward. You know, a little, just a little indecisive. Um, we got a guy on a radar on that mid area. You probably could have, you know, lane that a bit more, but... Maybe you're just trying to stay with your teammate right here. Anyway, he could have been pre-laning that and probably had gotten a snipe on him. But as you back up, we read radar. We got one guy up here, one guy over here. We got a guy alone back here. This guy would have been good to push. Push with your team in 3v1. Now this run up here is a little risky. You got a guy up here, then you got a guy over here. And if anything, you should have slid out and just aimed at this guy. But you're just... You're running through a gauntlet right here, and luckily this guy misses you. And you're point blank with this guy. Now, it's tough. Again, nothing on a controller, but it's tough when you're point blank like that, you know, to get those quick movements, and you ended up, you know, getting killed. One minute. Get a nice snipe here on this Titan. I don't know what he's doing. He's taking that corner just very... Very blind, very just... Running around and giving you all three kills. Nice kill right there. Not forgotten, and Lunas are very crispy on um controller. Now right here with heavy ammo, you're a Thunderlord. You're a bit far when you shoot this, okay? And you're kinda you're kinda sitting back a little bit, your team is just you know, taking the brunt of the damage. At this point you kinda wanna be the tank for your team a little bit, like you know, be the aggressor. Now you you should go here and you shoot the enemy team, whereas you would have been better off going over here and shooting to close the gap. You could have probably, you know, cut off 15, 20 yards right there, meters. And again, with a controller, it's just aiming long distances with a controller, you get lack of aim, you get less aim assist on the sticks, and it's a little harder with your thumbs to do, and the analog to just kind of be accurate super far away. So you're getting damage drop off and aim assist drop off, which is why I'm saying if you would have pushed around right here, you probably, you had 13 rounds in this belt drum, whatever you call it, box magazine. You probably could have killed those two, two guys pretty easily. Being a little indecisive here, but this guy's pushing off by himself and dying. You know, he got into a 3v1, like I said in the beginning. Looks like you're trying to throw a grenade here, but it's not quite charged yet. Get a nice turn with Titan. I think you're tied here. So, we got a, we got a radar over here. We got a guy um, behind that pillar. Now, again, you 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 did like what this Titan did. You're pushing a little blind. You're just kind of casually running around corners. And 
you know, you could easily be pretty sniped or at least, you know, have two shots put on you by the time you're ready to shoot. Definitely slide and look. It's tougher on a controller, but it's still doable. So you're kind of just casually, you know, flying around the corner. Um, if he was aiming at you, he'd have shots and you sniping you pretty much. Now, you throw a grenade uh, a few seconds later in the middle of a gunfight because I'm thinking you're expecting him to be behind this pillar, which is, you know, it's fine. But at that point in the gunfight, I wouldn't throw a grenade um, because... I think you hit one shot on him in a body shot, and he's like full health. He's gonna be, he's gonna be, and you're hurt. He's gonna be pretty aggressive on you. He doesn't have to sit there and hide. If anything, open up with the grenade right here. Don't sit there, and he's distracted your teammate. You could have opened up with the grenade more so. So you hit one body shot. You throw a grenade a little late. And like he's got like full health. He's he's not really scared. He can be aggressive, and the round's over. So. <clears throat> so we'll watch. Uh, we'll watch this one. Three lives left. <laughs> that time not kill you. Couple things I could say there. One minute, you're ahead on lives. No lives left for your enemy. Destroy them. Long run. It sucks. Sucks that shield blocked that shot. No lives left on either side. I'm on the edge of hmm. my seat. <clears throat> One opponent standing. Ten seconds. This is it. Show me what you've got. Tiebreaker active. You have one last shot at survival. Your enemy has taken the tie. All right, all right, all right. There's a lot I guess uh, there's a lot I have to say about this round. I let the enemy close the gap. Okay, so so the first first minute or so your camp's back here at this point. I don't know what this area is called. A, eh? your camp back here for a while. <laughs> Not a big deal, okay? But you're just your your team's playing a bit more passive or at least you're you're a little separated. I don't know what they're doing. Maybe they go up ahead, but your camp back here for a while. 3 your positioning right here is not the greatest. You have nowhere to escape. You have nowhere to run. You either, this guy... This kind of sucks. <laughs> That's why he doesn't kill you. <laughs> because, you, you honestly, you were an easy kill right there. You are you have nowhere to run. You're out in the open. Again, no, I don't mean this in a bad way. You're on a controller. You can't exactly turn and get out of there really quick. So... Like, like right here, you should, you should be dead. Like, he just... That was a terrible grenade and doesn't follow up on anything. So your positioning, I would have been back a little farther behind, next to the box and by the entrance. That way you can go inside the entrance or behind the box. You're able to get away. Okay, so, you know, you got away, okay? Titan's chasing you. Teammate comes and helps you out. And, you know, unfortunately, I don't know how he kills your teammate. But, okay, now right here, you get a guy in your six with Thorn and probably the shotgun, Okay. You have on the uh, Gemini Jesters. I would have rolled right here. Like, this is just what I would have done. I would have rolled right here to keep him, you know, to mess up his radar. 
Because remember, you, you have on those on. Take, take advantage of them. Now, again, this guy is... This hunter is pretty pretty bad. You know, he should have killed you. He had you the jump on you pretty easy. You're thinking he's coming right here. But if you listen in your headset, and you can kind of see through the grates. Mainly in your headset, it's a dead giveaway that he's going inside. You can hear him on the stairs easy. I'll play it slow. I'll play it again. I won't talk. You guys can listen. You can hear him clearly going to the um, right and then coming behind you. One more time. So if you have on headphones, you can clearly hear him coming behind you. And as I said, I would have rolled right here. And you're looking the wrong way. He doesn't kill you. You get away. Okay, so, you know. You get away. You get the roll. And good job with the uh, pre-fire on those knives. Um, that the guy runs your teammate. And you're, you're alive with all this. So not a big deal. You live throughout all of it. Uh, you should have been dead a long time ago. But, you know, you're alive. Who cares? So... We're still back here in this area, though. No Minute into the game, we're still back here. You got Mercy at the Rose with the uh, LMG. Probably a good idea to push up with him and, you know, kind of give him some support. But he's dead. So. <clears throat> now, right here, you're taking a long path before you can, like, do anything. I would at least... I think I'm like a tad. Probably too much. You're taking a long path, right? You're going through here, all the way back here to lane this lane right here. I would have at least laned or looked right here at the Revoker. Once you go inside, you could, there's a broken, there's a broken, uh, you guys can't see what I'm pointing at, but there's a broken wall right there you could probably peek through again. And then again, you know, it's a long path before you're, you're, you're helping out. So, you had a good shot. This would have been a headshot, but man, that just barely clipped that, uh, Titan barricade, so it's unfortunate. Now another thing, this uh this I don't know what this hunter was doing, why he bum rushed like this. But if someone's running at you like that the shotgun, your best bet is to probably jump. Usually you can jump and actually a lot of times you'll survive because they'll shoot below you. Because with shotguns people don't really aim for the head, they aim for you know mid-level and instant jump on a hunter, you can kinda dodge them. So this guy If your teammate, your teammate looks like you threw a smoke on an accident. And it looks like you're on a regular controller. Because it looks like, and I don't know what your settings are, maybe default, but it looks like you press A to jump. So when you press A to jump, your right thumb is off your right analog and you can't aim. So I see as you jump, you're kind of just looking the exact same place and you're probably, you know, moving your thumb back to your analog trying to aim. But it's, you know, that time in between, it's too late. You, he's already up out of your line of sight and it's too late. This is why I control... This is why if you main Xbox, PS2, console, whatever, I always recommend getting an aftermarket controller, whether it be the Elite or Scuffs. And um, having those pedals in the back for jump, crouch, revive, stuff like that, those pedals really will help. If you're playing on console, if you don't play Claw and you play Default, or you're, and if you play Claw or you play some other setting and you do it just fine, then ignore this and then... Yes, of course, you can learn Claw, but if you got 15 years of, you know, playing Default and all that, it's hard to break the habit, and it might cramp up your hands, maybe your hands should be small, but I used to play console majority of my life, and I specifically remember um, playing on Xbox, I got an Elite controller for my birthday, and I remember, like, I improved drastically. My KD went up, I think, from a 2 to 2.4 in Trials, and... It's such it's such a huge game changer when you're playing console and controller. So again, if you can key bind it, then yeah. So I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Watch as he jumps, he kinda just looks in the same exact direction. No lives left on either side. So, he's kinda just looking at that wall, moving his thumb back to his analog, I assume. To look for him. Now, at this point right here, uh, no lives left. I think this guy's knocked, and he, this guy is still alive, but he gets knocked here, and it's just the Titan. This guy dies, and it's, it's basically 2v1 and a Super stack. Titan. Yeah, so it's 2v1 on the Super Titan. You want to be careful. I don't know if I would have necessarily went this close right here, because that's... I don't know why he doesn't kill your teammate in the Super. It's pretty. Um, it's a pretty fresh Super you can see down here, and he should kill your teammate. So it's a little... 
sketchy going this close. But you do have your super, so you can kind of, um, you know, be a bit more less cautious. Not have to worry about, you know, defending, fighting up a super with just your sniper. At this point, 0-2, and two, and they only need to win, what is it, four, four rounds. I probably would have go ahead and went in and supered this Titan. Now you're you're running back, and he's out of his super. I don't know how he's out so fast. Maybe he's running top tree. And you're kind of leaving your teammate out to dry right here. If you would have kind of went up a little more, maybe helped him. Like it, this is this part right here goes on for a while. Like this is at least ten seconds, I think, before he even kills your teammate. You could have easily been up there a little bit helping, and maybe I guess you're thinking about the heavy to defend it. it. So it was. He has two seconds left on the clock. I think there was nine. So seven seconds. It was seven seconds. You could have been in there helping your teammate, right? You're landing kind of a weird lane. I know you're defending heavy, but you have your super. He doesn't have his super. At this point, if you're not going to help your teammate, you should have went for the capture point over here, whether you run all the way over here and defend that lane or run all the way around and get on the, just get on the point and defend the point because you'd have a sniper and your super to defend it pretty easily. So you're landing this, kind of sitting back here chilling. It's already on tiebreaker. This Titan doesn't even bother for heavy. Now, again, I would have suggested supering earlier or even supering now because you're uh, you're down 0-2. They uh, they use the super. If you use your super here and you win the round, like it's not a big deal. Like you're you both use supers, but you win the round. I don't know what happens here. I assume you accidentally misclick, or maybe you're trying to time it just a hair early. It's just a super unfortunate um, miscl misclick, I'm going to assume. Now, at this point, I don't know why I'm always so sniffly early in the day, man. Sorry for the sniffles. At this point, you kind of, what do you got, like, he's at like 90%, and you're, you're point blank with your Luna. At this point, um... Uh, it's already capped it, but at this point, probably fight with your sniper. Try and go for a Hail Mary uh, no scope because you got milliseconds on the clock. So your enemy has match point. Nothing. You guys are just barely Take losing these rounds too. Barely losing these rounds. Okay. All right, let's watch this one and uh, see how it plays out. Three lives left. You getting ready to type? That dude is just chilling, crouched, not even strafing. That's a that's a shoulder charging titan. That's not a real titan. Uh, don't associate with those guys. Don't compare those titans to other titans. You only got one bullet for that. So if I if, you, if I didn't say it right earlier, you didn't hear me. If you run either double spe I think it's one double minute. special Your or special like a result. sniper special and shotgun, you will get three per special ammo brick. You're out of lives. Fight on just the same. I don't think you even died yet, huh? Your team already gave them all the lives. You've been knocked out. Neither team has lives left. Show no mercy. That was like your first death that round. That's Team was feeding. Okay, so I'm gonna assume based off the time on the left in the game. Not very good. Or not very good outlook, but nothing changes. Take them out. So watch the beginning of this. So we got one super on your team and then two on their team. Now I notice you push up right here. And you you get here first. And you should have stayed you should have stayed scoped in because this is a popular lane. People are gonna peek that. If you would have stayed scoped in while walking backwards like you did, but if you would have stayed scoped in, you probably might have able to get a snipe on him. Oh, you, you did die once. Okay, not a big deal. You had one death. So your team is sitting back here the whole time. I don't even know if your teammate gets his super off, but... I think you get two snipes. You're getting some pics with your sniper. So this Titan, like I said, this is... This is... That's not a Titan. That's a... Something else. So you get one nice snipe. Two nice snipes. You get two nice picks. You're up 3-1. I don't know how y'all lost this. 
You're up 3-1. Okay, you get... Again, if you would have had more ammo, maybe, but... Your teammate needs to use the super. I don't think I would have pushed up, really. Your teammate pushed up wide. You can't You can't talk to them, but... No reason to push up. One minute. Your neck just neck watch that lane on that. Uh, heavy. Again, your teammate with a super. He's just... He's not using He's wasting lives. This guy's up by himself. And, you know, you're, you're doing pretty good. You got some picks this game. And you're kind of back into a corner here. Um, at this point, I would have probably rolled away. I wouldn't have kept landing that. But this guy needs to use his super. Saving it for next game. So, you got three guys, two supers against one guy. So, you guys lose. But... From what it looks like, you did pretty good that game yourself. You just had some uh, not greatest teammates. If you're gonna play solo and you want to, you know, do a bunch of stuff on your own solo, you definitely have to be able to carry. You definitely have to be able to one v five. As in, like, sure you're facing three people, but those two guys on your team. <laughs> Sometimes they play for the enemy team. Like they were feeding those, that last round. Your team was that warlock was feeding a bit. He wasted. He didn't even use his super. So you got to be able to one v five. You got to be able to definitely be aggressive and lead the team and just end stuff fast. I think that's gonna be it though. Thank you. For, thank you again, Big Daddy Betty, for hanging out in my Twitch stream and sending me the gameplay. I hope you guys enjoyed this um, competitive e survival match. And again, if you want to send me gameplay, the description, check the description for the, like the stipulations and what not to send and all that and where to send it. And again, I believe that's it for me guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. As always, stay thick.